All right, I have a very long flight today and I told myself I was gonna try to vlog the whole day. It probably won't work, <laughs> but we're gonna try. I'm gonna start my day with a shower and getting myself together. The flight is until two. Um, I'll probably be there at 11 or at noon and um, it's like 8.30 right now. So here we go. I literally just woke up. I didn't sleep good either. I think I had anxiety about the flight, but um, it's an eight hour flight to Spain. So let's get started on getting myself ready for the airport and for just being all day pretty much at the airport and on flight. Okay, so I woke up, showered, done a little bit of packing. I'm just getting ready. I'm really happy. I like late flights because I'm able to take my time with it and not feel rushed so much in the morning. I do want to grab a cheeseburger from Steak and Shake before leaving as like my last American meal. Uh, so I'll be doing that when they open up like around 11 and that should get me right, right for when we have to go to the airport like around noon. Um, right now I'm just making sure that like the house will be okay for us to be gone for like the 10 days we're gone. So I'm taking out trash, making sure that it's not like, you know, left here to smell up the place i'm gonna empty out the fridge and um just like some last minute packing and ensuring that i have everything it's, it's so cool when you have late flights because you're able to really just like think things through <laughs> rather than feeling so rushed in the morning and you know you feel more awake too so i packed my um i packed my carry-on already my bags are packed fridge is clean i feel really good um, now I'm just waiting for Steak and Shake to open. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so vlogging. I am going to leave for the airport soon. We just went to Target for some last minute things. We're throwing out trash right now. And I'll do some vlogging when I'm in the airport, but I'll probably just get a lot of B-roll. Um, but yeah. That's why. Outside of the gate. Yeah. Go ahead, honey. Before we get on the international section of the flight. Yes. Okay, so we went through TSA pre-check and now I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, now we wait. All right, getting ready to board. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> those tunnels sometimes they're really hot other times they're like super cold um, so yeah going to my first stop it's gonna be Charlotte and it should only be like an hour and a half Over your head. We got the in flight snacks. <laughs> they gave us 
the whole can. Usually they give it to us in little cups. checkpoint until I get to Spain um, yeah so so far so good this is now gonna be the eight-hour flight and I'll try to vlog while I'm in there but no promises <laughs> now we wait <laughs> right past you. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, okay. You want
very tired, but I'm still trying to do the vlog. So this is just for my notes later. That one, we flew to Mexico. We had to fill out paperwork while on the plane. And then we took it off or got off the plane and then had to give it to customs. And for Spain, we weren't given paperwork. So we're heading to baggage claim right now. We're gonna see what's next after that. Okay, I lied. There was a customs and it was easy. You just kind of go through and give them your passport. No paperwork needed like in Mexico and now we're going to baggage claim. And as you can see, a lot of the signs are translated in English and Spanish. So I think if you don't know Spanish, you would be fine up until this point. <laughs> All right, we are looking at going towards baggage claim. It looks like you have to take a train to baggage claim. I'm following you, honey. All right, you see the big Uber sign? They're allowing Uber here now. Um, it says belts one through six, so right now we're just trying to figure out which belt we will get our bags from. We're going to try to read a sign, see if that tells us. Yeah, Charlotte right there, belt six. So let's go to belt six. One to six over here. This place is so big. The belt is big. <laughs> All right, we got we got one bag here. We have one more to go. Um Overall, the airport is pretty easy to navigate, even though it's really big. Right now, we're just, I think I'm just really tired. Um, and I wish it didn't take forever to get to the bags. So we have both bags now, but it's 7 a.m. So we um, didn't plan this through, that we probably can't check until like four. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have our bags now. Um, I think I said in another video that the airport is huge. However, it is pretty easy to manage. I will say everything is laid out and written really well. Um, things are translated in English and Spanish in case you can't read Spanish. Uh, they do have English. Um, do you think you would have been fine traveling by yourself and not knowing Spanish? Yep. Okay. So someone that only knows English would be fine in the airport. No Python. He knows other languages. <laughs> um, we did hit a road roadblock just now because we landed at like seven o'clock in the morning and we can't check in until like three, we think. So I think we're, our plan is to go to the hotel, leave our bags at the desk because we don't have anything really important in the bags besides clothes and then walk around the city and go um, exchange some USD for euros. So I'll keep you all updated as we go on and I'll try to vlog as much as I can but no promises because I think for the most part I think this is all I wanted for the video was the flight and how it went so. <laughs> what? 